Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to create a holiday makeup glam using all affordable products that are readily available, especially if you are wanting to get full glam without breaking the bank. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So I've already filled in my brows and for that I use the Total Temptation Brow Definer from Maybelline and I have the shade Deep Brow. To prime my eyes, I have the LA Girl High Definition Concealer and this is the yellow concealer which I find helps with making the shadows appear more vibrant. For eyeshadow today, I actually have two options. So I have the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening palette which is very cool tone so i think i'm gonna save this for another video and the other option is the revolution reloaded eyeshadow palette and this one is in velvet rose and it has a nice um, mixture of warm and cool tone shades and i really want to use the gold shade right there as my lid color so to set my face i am going to go and use this shade right here which is more of a peachy type of shade and I'm going to pop that all over my lid for transition shade I am going to mix this shade right here with a little bit of this shade to create a nice warm transition to deepen that up a little bit I am going to go and use this shade right here and pop that directly onto the crease To blend that out, I'm going to pick up this shade right here that we use as a transition to go just above the crease and underneath the brow bone. And I wanted to deepen the outer V a little bit, so I'm going to go and use this shade right here, which is more of a cool toned brown. And I'm going to use more of like a pecking brush. Now I have that base, I am going to pick up a concealer once again to pop that on the negative space that we have. And I'm getting a flat brush. A little bit of that brown shade. I am going to pick up a somewhat natural brush and I am going to go and pop on that gold shade right there. It has a little bit of like flakes of glitter but it totally looks so pretty when applied onto the lid. So at the moment it is looking more of sheer pop of glitter which is actually quite pretty. Like it creates that soft spotlight look. So I think I'm quite happy with that instead of in Intensely packing it on and then I'll blend the edges a little bit Now the reason why I did the eyes first is because we are experiencing a little bit of fall off since the glitter is a bit flaky But I'm actually quite happy with how that looks So I'm just gonna quickly finish off my eyes and then we'll move on to the face Lashes I swear makes a huge difference So the ones that I put on is basically just the mink lashes you can find from eBay This one right here So it's very affordable and you're definitely not breaking the bank As you can see it definitely amp up the look immediately So for primer to Today. The one that I currently enjoy is this CoverGirl Base Business Primer and this one is Pore Minimizing. I love the fact that it has a purple tint. It mattifies, it fills in the pores and it brightens the face as well. During the holidays, you'll be taking a lot of photos. I would recommend the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation mainly because this is honestly the best when it comes to photos it doesn't have flash photography and it just makes your skin very flawless so i have two shades right here because this beige is a little bit too dark and then golden beige is a little bit too light so i'm going to mix them together and it comes in this spatula looking thing which could be an issue for some but honestly for me I don't really care for but that much and then I'll just mix it as I go and I 
switch back to applying foundation with a foundation brush it's less hassle and that means that i don't have to wet anything because i usually forget to wet a beauty blender this foundation also gives like a medium to full coverage which is something that i look for especially now that my skin has been breaking out i'm not for concealer today i'm going to use the maybelline age rewind concealer this is just like a best concealer in brightening and also concealing the dark circles and if you get this on sale it's actually super affordable I am going to use the Cody Espan Loose Face Powder. You can find this from Amazon or eBay. La Femme Beauty that Cody and Z, if you are in New Zealand, sells the powder as well. It's a bit expensive though. It's like $15, but that's roughly the drugstore prices here in New Zealand anyway. So it's better than spending $60 on a loose powder. To contour, bronze, and do a little bit of matte highlight, I'm going to use this Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro. So I'm going to use the yellow shade to brighten up the eyes. Maybe mix in a little bit of that white shade. I could use some brightening. For bronzer, I am going to go and use the shade right here. To contour a little bit, I'm going to go and maybe use this shade right here, just a little bit. For blush, I am going to go and use the Essence Silky Touch Smooth Blush, which I have been using for every day. And this one is in the shade Baby Doll. It's just a nice pink with a little bit of sheen. use the sleek cleopatra skis highlight palette i have not used this for a while and i used to use this in all my videos it's just a great highlight it's perfect for holidays it's intense to finish off our eyes i am going to go back to this palette right here and I think I'm just gonna use one shade so I'm going to pick up this shade right here and pop that on the lower lash line and bring that down a little bit lower and to deepen that up I am going to go and use the shade right here just on the outer corner for the inner corner highlight I am going to pick up this shade right here, which has a nice peach undertone. Ooh, that is so pretty and glittery. And I'll just pop on some mascara. Lips today, I actually have options. So it's either you want to go for a red lip or you want to go for a nude. Typically for me, if I have this much eye makeup going on, I would go for a nude lip. But if you want to be bold, then I also got you. So the first one that we're going to do is to apply a nude lip. So I'm going to use the Revolution Lip Liner in Echelon, which is this one right here. Follow that up with the revolution lipstick and this one is in stiletto so it's just a nice brownie nude here is what the makeup looks like with a lip but because it's holiday and we want to be extra i wanted to apply a dark lips so i am going to go and use this liquid lipstick from carousel and this is in the shade circus and this is a nice brick red lipstick and the formula of this is pretty intense that you would actually need like an oil-based cleanser to use it which we actually need for holidays since we're eating and drinking we don't want to keep touching up our lips to apply the liquid lipstick i am going to go with jordana mahogany lip liner and i'll follow it up with the carousel liquid lipstick in circus here is what the makeup look looks like with the dark liquid lips Overall, this makeup look costs less than 
$200, which is pretty steep if you think about it, but because in New Zealand, the market here when it comes to drugstore products are very, very steep. So that's reasonably affordable. I just want to let you know that you don't necessarily need to own a lot of high-end makeup to achieve this makeup look. You can be creative and it all comes down to rocking it and having the confidence. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.